One of the records that we set was um, accumulated debt. Uh, that's kind of an interesting number. If you take a look at, uh, at uh, President Clinton, his first 100 days, he uh, managed to rack up $86 billion of debt, President Clinton. President Bush uh, didn't rack up any debt at all. In fact, he had $70 billion of surplus at the end of his first 100 days. And a clear winner in this regard, President Obama, with $564 billion of debt. That's half of $1 trillion of debt. So the clear winner in accumulated debt contest has to go to President Obama. Now, um, in coordination with this, if you take a look at uh, National Debt Day. Uh, we have a National Debt Day. That's the time uh, when we have finished spending all the money we've collected that year in taxes. Uh, we get the taxes in on April 15th, as you know. People send their taxes in. The government gets its money and uh, has been spending since the beginning of the year. The question is, is how far do you get into the year before you run out of money? Uh, a lot of families have that problem uh, in terms of the family budget. Uh, but uh, usually what happens is we get to about, uh, you know, uh, August, sometimes July in a bad year or September. Not so this year. We have set another record in terms of debt day. Uh, it's already gone. It was two days ago. It was April 26th. And by April 26th, we'd spent all the money that was coming into the federal government in taxes this year. That's not a good sign. That says we're creating a tremendous uh, amount of debt. 